Hello, happy summer 2019. We have just gotten back from a couple weeks in Hawaii and I know it's been a long time. Life just escaped us and so we chose to go offline and take care of our lives in person. Here's Dolce, she just had a bath after we picked her up from a really wonderful family that took care of the girls while we were in Hawaii. She just had a bath and she's a little bit perturbed, but she wants to say hi. And we wanted to show you Dolce has gone through quite a transformation in the last year. <laughs> yes, baby. We are putting uh, air cleaner, which is a really great thing to do after you give the dog a bath. Dolce is currently in um, squish, 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 squish. Make that squishy, squishy sound. Um, Dolce is now, as you can see, her coat is very long. She doesn't look like Dolce to a lot of people probably because she used to be in the short torso, long legs, but now she is in full coat. And her coat goes all the way to the floor. She is not excited because the drawing process is pretty long. But before we start drawing her, we're going to gently clean the outsides only of her ears. And the ears will get much dirtier in the summertime because, number one, the outside's pretty dirty and they're out, outdoors more. Number two, because she's in full coat, her ears are really... So you can clean <clears throat> the outside with a Q-tip or you can use the cotton gauze and clean out the insides of her ears. We'll do a twisty twisty. Rub that a little bit in the back, take it out, and some of the goobers will come out. Do the same for the other ear. Twisty, twisty the cotton. And we'll put it in, put it in like this. And then So that was the dreaded blow dry. In um, the summertime, it doesn't take so long, and she's just gonna get outside and get dirty. 
in the backyard, so we're not gonna worry about drying her like a show dog. We were really lucky when we went on vacation. I was super stressed because finding someone to watch Team Mo, Maltese, the four girls, it's really hard to find someone that can watch your dogs when you go on vacation. It's very, very stressful. But we were very fortunate. We had Summer's mom. Summer's been on the channel. Her mom shared her sitter, her dog sitter, and we happened to have been friends with them. So these friends of ours who love Maltese but don't have a don't currently have a dog of their own agreed to watch our dogs for a couple weeks while we were in Kauai and Maui and and the girls looked so lovely and they were so well taken care of that they've been dirty because they've been in our backyard because we spend time in our jacuzzi and super stinky so we'll just put Dolce up in a Dolce flip uh, hopefully everyone's having a good summer so far um, we apologize for being off for so long but life just takes over and filming and posting on YouTube and social media it does take quite a bit of time for us so all our apologies here's Dolce uh, now Dolce is in full coat and typically we use our little top knot bands um, for typical top knots when she was not in full coat her hair is very heavy so instead of using instead of using these really tiny tiny bands let me show you the difference so we have these top knot bands that are really really thin because her hair is so much heavier we're using uh, thicker bands and it's basically the same circumference they're about a centimeter circumference these are pretty stretchy but because her hair is so thick um, they're too thin for her so if you have a dog that's bigger than Dolce, Dolce is only four pounds but because if you have a dog with lots of hair like this we're using these thicker TP, uh, TPU bands or top knot bands and we find that they just hold her hair better because it's so heavy so we'll put a band in and we'll do one two, three, and then after you put the hair in a band, you're going to want to loosen, hold the skin, loosen, 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 loosen. You'll want to loosen the hair here by sticking a rat tail comb, loosen, and the reason why we loosen so much is Number one, it probably hurts if it's too tight. But number two, because we're going to do the Dolce Flip. Okay. Whoosh. Okay. So we'll have to clean her up. So in some ways, having a dog in full coat is can be more work. In some ways, it could be less work. How is it more work? More work is that she requires daily brushing, um, or else she'll mat. And then just to keep her hair back a little bit, I'm going to take another grouping of hair. Just, just to keep her hair out when she's out sniffing the dirty backyard but also when she's just lounging just to get this hair out of the way. So one, these are your thicker TPU bands, two, three, probably go fourth, but I'll put a blue one. 
One, two, three. And this will two, three, do one more. Okay, and then who's a pretty girl? Who's a pretty girl? So now we'll just trim our paws. We have backup somewhere, okay. So here we go. Here's the Brevera Lithium. The setting for the feet, I like to use. The middle is the 15. So if you're just starting out, I guess I would put it right in the middle. But I like to go one over on the 30. And you just wanna make sure if you're, you're the pad of the paw is like this, um, please don't go in at an angle because most likely you can see programmers doing it, which is fine because they do it every day. But if you try to do it as a home groomer, then you could potentially get the webbing of the feet. So if you go in at an angle, you know, like if you go in at an angle, you'll cut their feet. Whereas if you go in parallel, you just want to kind of get the, the fur um, that's overhanging. So what we'll do is we'll stand her up and we'll have it on the 15, which is right in the middle, or the 30. And then you'll bring her, she's got so much fur, she's like the abominable snowman. We'll bring the fur all the way down and then we'll come over and we'll just clip the fur that's overhanging. And we'll go parallel. We'll do the other foot as well. Bring, bring all the fur down. Stand, stand, don't you? Bring all the fur down, down to the bottom, and then we'll just go to the other side. Bring the fur all the way down to the bottom, and just go parallel and clear the hair on the bottom of the feet so that they won't slip. Okay. And then we'll just take a look at her. We'll just take a look at her paws and trim what's necessary. So we'll come down and oops. We'll trim anything that's overhanging. Oh, she's a tur turd. Trim anything that's overhanging. Trim anything that's overhanging. So we'll take the curved here and we'll gently, oops, gently lift the leg and just trim anything that's overhanging. Okay, and then here too. So it's got about an inch left to hit, actually hit floor. But we'll trim around the feet and her paws. So here, brush her paws out. We'll shake her paws out like this and we'll just trim anything that's overhanging. Can you see that? Can you see? Trim anything that's overhanging, kind of shaking it out. We'll do the other side. We lift her paw. Try and show you here. You'll lift her paw, brush the hair out. You'll see kind of a line 
Can you see the line? And then we'll just trim anything that's overhanging. So it's pretty easy. Here we'll lift, we'll uh, take a look. Round out her paws. Round out her paws this way. And then we'll come over here. We'll round out her paws. Check to see anything overhanging. Go to the back. We'll just round out her paws. with the curved shear and then come around this way oops the paws are pretty rounded but we'll just there's a little bit of an overhang here and it'll dip and pee so we'll just trim that up the back leg we'll do like the front where we'll we'll actually kick the leg brush the hair down, we'll kick the leg backwards like this, and we'll just kind of clean up the fuzzies here. Clean that up, turn her around, again brush the hair down, get the tail out of the way, Dolce will fight you and want to lay down, so we'll lift the back leg straight back not sideways and we'll take a look here it's kind of hard to see but let's get you forward okay so what we'll do is we'll lift the back leg just slightly obviously without hurting them and then you'll see these little loose hairs here we'll just clean that up so that it grows out nice and then you can see she still has a little bit of growth left. But, yep, and that's it. It's super easy. So let's take a look at her front here. Because Dolce is growing out her long front, I do like to clean this up a little bit and so what you'll want to do if you have a dog that you're growing out and we'll eventually cut her back to her normal but we're kind of enjoying this long coat I'll pull the hair forward and kind of just trim it with a thinner just to kind of get rid of the frizzies and anything that might be hitting the floor and because her tail is so long, I'm going to give it a trim because she is collecting a lot of goobers in the house. So we'll gather the hair and we'll just kind of clean up the loose ends with thinners. Sit. See. See, don't you? I'll clean this up a little bit. Um, the front part you can just we'll let her lay. You can comb it forward just to clean it up. Straight forward. Just to clean it up. Straight forward and trim. Getting on. Whoop. Oh, there. That's my good clipper. Really? That's
that's okay, because I'll that'll be a blooper. Like, yeah. So, oopsies, I broke my Bravura <laughs> clipper. If you accidentally drop this and you put it on, um, it's broken because this plastic bit is really sensitive. So rather than buying an entire new Bravura, um, and I've done this a lot because I drop this a lot, you can just buy this replacement piece, which is what I'll have to buy, is this black replacement piece and hosed another Bravura. Oopsies.